Warning. Stay True Sundays is an entertainment podcast ran by an entertainment professionals. Do not take what we say seriously. Don't even listen if you get offended easily. That being said, if you're brave enough to still be here, then sit down, shut up, and get ready. Because it's going to be one hell of a ride. It is worse. <laughs> But I love it. League of Legends. Mark, that flew over his head. Dota was first, for I've sure. Never played a video game ever in my life. Jeez, Computer game. That's a very like independent perspective that you've never played video games that no, you just I, like. I, could, I don't have the attention. It's like someone who hasn't watched SpongeBob. What is that? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. you shut the fuck up. <laughs> You're not the right age to make that work. The people I work with though are like. Isn't that disgusting? Dude. I and I say from the SpongeBob 90s. references and they're like. I have no idea what you're talking about. I I'm hate like, them. That's embarrassing. Oh, God, because you work with, yeah, fucking high schoolers pretty much. I do. I do, sadly. Oh, whoa, wait, um, whoa, 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 whoa. My mic no. sounds kind of funny. Oh, it was just my ear thing. Yeah. Okay. You sound good over here. Uh, you sound so good. Welcome so back good. to so Stay True Sundays, your auntie's favorite podcast, season three, episode 11. 11. At episode 15, we go to season four. Damn, okay. son, where'd you find this? Okay. <laughs> Season uh, finale, even though it's not number 15, this is the season finale. Yeah. <laughs> we're, getting can- we're getting canceled after this. Yeah. This is it. I'm just kidding. Oh, okay. Brayden, anything new from last um, time we podcasted? I can't remember last time we podcasted. Luis. Oh, yeah, that was a fun one. Luis was a cool guy. Mm, nothing new. Mm. I think I think of Do I know Luis? Nothing? Your face healed up. My face looks did really good. Up. Yeah, it's not. I don't look like it. looks somebody, like a bruise now. Somebody a bit. hit me in the face with a baseball. Now it looks like somebody hit me in the face with a baseball like two weeks ago. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, I don't know if this is going to go away, though. Well, if it doesn't, it looks tough. I feel weird yeah. for not commenting on it when we were drinking earlier. <laughs> yeah. I feel weird for not saying, like, hey, Brayden, like, what happened, dude? Right. You everybody's assu- everybody's you. assuming the worst. They're like, this yeah. guy yeah. got into yeah. a bar fight or something. Wow. He, um, yeah. yeah, he opened the car door drunk and fell face first into the... Yeah, no, I was I'm like, kidding. I'm going to go home. <laughs> Don't say the real story. Passages. Don't say the real oh, story. this guy. You defended Marky. your girl from a big old freaking stud. Mark, you defended his girl, and I was... No, it's against Brayden. Stop the punch from coming in. Yeah. Oh Brayden. God. You will not. <laughs> Andrew. Um, anything yeah. new? Because I haven't seen you. I haven't seen him. He lost we, the mustache. We all have to hang out all the time, and now he just doesn't. He yeah. hates us. Okay, He's I like busy like with firefighting. Fill us in, dude. What a dick. Fill us in, dude. <laughs> first off, Brayden's got a fucking mustache. Yeah. So that's oh, dude. dude. We got to take a picture after so I can throw it up on the screen that's there, the guys. I'm growing this for Preston because I'm going to go see him tomorrow. He's got a wild mustache. Down in um, SD. Under? Yeah, 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 down under. Respect. Hell but, yes. Um, pretty much. Um, him, shout out. Mm. New shout things. Out. Probably just the firefighting stuff. Thursdays mm. usually training. Weekends usually at work. And how was snowboarding? Snowboarding was good. Damn. Just went last weekend. Was it fresh? Fresh pow pow or no? It was probably a couple inches of Wait, fresh. Last, they, it snowed last weekend. Yeah. No, we didn't snow. Oh, you went two it was like ago. We went last weekend, but I think it snowed like that Thursday or something. Oh, maybe. Yeah, did you did you do any fucking jumps? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Where'd you go? Uh, Allie, uh, yeah, I went. Caitlin and Allie, you know the Drakes. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yes, Allie shreds. Yes, sir. The Nar. Allie shreds. Sh- Allie shreds. Dude. Hell yeah, no. good for her. hardcore. No yeah. way. So Caitlin wasn't. Uh, well, well, you didn't bring up Caitlin. Is she just kind of like just, she? She hung she out skis. the bottom. She doesn't want to like. She's got to try kind of thing. I'm not like gonna teach her, but Get she's her just like. There. She's like, I don't want to fall on my ass on her time. She's got to be in that like swimwear. That's what it takes, dude. I That's know, what it takes. but fall on your to face. do it sucks. Yeah, yeah, there but, you go. La, 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 la. <laughs> we're going to go up to Dodge one of these times because she gave me that gift card. Mm. So we're all going to go. Where'd you guys go this last time? Kirkwood. Nice. My first did, time there. Did you like yeah. it? It was nice. Dude. It was pretty black diamond you though. Yeah? Did you, did you, there? Get, did you, you got the, it. Well, you hit the face? my first time, I went with my uncle. I was a skier. I was a nerd. You know, yeah, yeah. I was a nerd. Hey, I kind of want to try this. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, Brayden, you know that the Brayden snowboarders are so much cooler. Yeah. The snowboarders are so yeah. much cooler. But I like, I even knew that as an eight-year-old. And I was still just like, you know, skiing seems like it's at least straight. It's very you know daddy. I mean? Like dad. <laughs> yes. Dad style. Like, yo, Uncle Gerard will teach you how to ski. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, he, but he's like a, but uncle, but like, but like cousin dad, Tommy will teach you how to snowboard. He's like, you know? yo, yeah. well, let's get drunk, let's go snowboarding, bro. No, <laughs> it wasn't that. It wasn't that. It was just skiing. It was just getting down the hill. But we went to uh, was it Bear Valley? Yep. And they had the Cub Hill. 
Maybe, yeah. And I just wanted to run that back. I was just like, run that cub hill back. Yeah. That's what Caitlin might need. It's like, <laughs> the get, on her, get her on the cubby yeah, hill. The, the, the I know it, it sounds emasculating, but get, get her on the cubby well, hill. she's a woman, so it's okay. <laughs> oh, God, yes. Okay, well, That's yeah. Like jump on my yeah. back. You have something to start with. Yeah, have something to start with. Uh, did, yeah. uh, Braden... But I wasn't scared of it after that. I was like, okay, I can control this. I can go in little S turns and oh, all that. Oh, snowboarding? And have you ever have you caught your skiing. edge? Oh, yeah. I've never even tried to get on a snowboard. Oh, you just know it's cool. Cause I dude, you thought you were gonna go in right there. Yeah. I was yeah, jealous. Yeah. Well, I was jealous of like all my boys who was like I was playing sports and stuff, and they were like, dude, like I'm skating, I'm freaking doing this, and I'm doing like sideways stuff, and and I'm <laughs> and I'm just like, dude, I've, I got I'm basketball a practice. Yeah, I got and basketball backwards. practice after school. As soon as basketball's over, I got baseball, football, whatever. So I never got to do the extreme sports. This guy can I was go always fast, jealous. forward and backwards, but you can't go sideways. Mm-hmm. I don't go sideways. <laughs> yeah. You weren't allowed to. So I'm playing defense. Uh, yeah. I play defense in <laughs> basketball or whatever. <laughs> Because I definitely didn't have a jump shot coming off of football season. I'm fouling out, dude, mm-hmm. in basketball, 100. percent Oh, with but, elbows, right? And like, like oh, dude, everything. You're just rough. <laughs> yeah, you're just like a guy in front of me. I need to get around him. I just push him out of the way. It's part I don't of the rule. Why I never put this together? Probably because his like voice is just in my ear. But I'm just like I'm listening to Theo Vaughn without I like know. the twang. <laughs> I thought the same dude, thing. You guys, what, me? You know, yeah. you sound like oh, we love. Oh, Theo. dude, that's probably yeah. the greatest podcast yeah. that you could ever. You could ever see. I know that guy. Sure. I love that guy. Yeah, the dark I love that guy. So if he is somehow listening, dude. I will gladly be your freaking, you know what I mean. I'll be your, I'll, I'll be your uh, apprentice. Peen, your apprentice. Fluffer <laughs> for the teach me how to sound like you, yeah. Theo Vaughn. <laughs> he sounds like a little bit. I'll do it. Yeah, yeah. It's not the same like Southern I'll do twang, but it's got to do it's to got the same Theo like, Vaughn. Dude, <laughs> prettiness. Wow, I'm hearing it too now. Yeah. That's Dang. funny. Hey, real quick before we get actually into what the fuck is this, dude? Go ahead. No smoking in here. Just kidding. Rip I mean, it I got up. multiple Rip kinds of smoke. Uh, you got to introduce yourself. You need to state your full name, uh, your age, your favorite color, your favorite movie. Hold on. And hold on. And how tall you are. Go. Okay. Age is... Uh, name first. 26, humble years old. Still got plenty of juice in me. Okay, no name. Juice. My name juice. is... I mean, do I, should I tell him my real name? No. It's so boring. Tell, tell you my whole name. story of my name is that Trent is my name. Okay, I know it sounds like Just a rich white yesterday. boy from the hills. <laughs> I hate Trent. You know, I'm not from Beverly Hills. Definitely Trent. My name is Young Tito from the fucking <laughs> Lodi, California. Tito Ortiz. But no, no, I was named by my parents. I didn't get to choose. My name's Trent. Trent Joseph Ortiz. <laughs> I didn't get to choose. That started as TJ, and then my friends turned it into Tito somehow. But I'm Tito now, pretty much, pretty much till the end. Yeah. I like that because it a, sounds good as Chef Tito. I like to cook, you know. So Chef oh. Tito sounds like I got. You know what I mean? You need a little yeah. Latin. Flavored for people to trust you as a chef. What are you, <clears throat> Tito? I'm Puerto Rican, Libido. okay, but I'm Respect. more Dutch than Puerto Rican, so it's uh, that's kind of like I, Wait, I am still white. You got that all the skin color like year round because right. you get tan, you but you still. I don't complain tan. about that, dude. My dude, and your eyes are super green. I don't know if anybody. You got some see. pretty eyes too. Well, I, I think you guys should kiss a little <laughs> bit. Don't you with a good time. I'll do it. I'll do no, it. No, no, if I'm a couple more of these bad boys. Oh, ultra fucking <laughs> high, baby. I didn't even get past my name. What was the second question? My name. Uh, there's a color, there's a color in what's there. What's my name again? Oh, your favorite color. Okay, my favorite color is probably um, fucking a. What's my favorite color? <laughs> Dark blue, gray. The okay, colors I like, I like to wear, you know. Yeah, yeah. The colors I like to to He's wear. Got a I bright guess. red shirt on. Yeah. <laughs> I like to wear dark blue. What's gray. your undershirt? What color's your undershirt? Um, dude, my undershirt is the color of this. <laughs> <laughs> no undershirt. Yeah. No, no undershirt. No, I'm naked, baby. Shoot, what color's your underwear? I hope um, there isn't any. I hope dude, the I don't think it through that much. Am I like not, dude? Like I don't think any of that through. That's okay. What's your height? My underwear is whatever one's clean. My uh, my height is like I call it six one, but it's really like just like six and some change. Okay. But I call it six. What does that Sounds feel like? Better. What does that feel like to be six and some change? <laughs> Stop it. No, that ass. Not as good as it feels to be like freaking six five. It does no yeah. different. It's yeah. no different. It says yeah, I'm five not, five. Yeah, so. it's like anywhere in but uh, dude, like yeah. I mean, I'm over six foot, but I'm barely there. Okay, and last question: What's your favorite movie? God damn. I mean, we were talking. Can anyone answer that shows? off the top of their head? Oh yeah, I can. Yeah. All right. I, I Give me a second. Easily. I mean, favorite movie of all time. <laughs> like, like one. Like, just like, say, let's like one. Like, I can't even remember I, what your I, favorite movie is. I would say a movie that, like, F2. to me, goes by in like forty-five minutes, even though it's obviously over two hours, mm-hmm. is Reservoir Dogs. So I'll, I'll I'll pick Reservoir Dogs. Dude, you unlocked a memory. I saw that movie back when I was like uh, seventh grade. 
I answered that in our wow. trivia yesterday, yeah, last night. I don't think and I was right. so confident, I was dead wrong. Yeah. <laughs> we got, dead wrong. We got hella wrong. Yeah. Really? Yeah, they said we Steve Buscemi, I'm like, Reservoir Dogs. Yeah, he was like, Steve in my ear, he's like, yo, 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 yeah. yo, it's Reservoir Dogs. Was it Con Air? Dogs. He's been in 30 movies. Or more, fucking A. What was the answer? What was the answer? What was the question? Uh, it was like William H. Macy, yeah. Steve Buscemi. Oh, it was... Uh, no. It was all dudes. So I was like, dude, it's Reservoir Dogs. It's all dudes. <laughs> no, there was... Okay, so it was Waterworld was one of the answers. And then the other one, one was Demolition Man. <laughs> and then there was... God. Well, do you remember it was all Dennis Hopper? And yeah, you were like, was, you don't know I was like, Dennis Hopper's I filmography. Know. You don't... You, you don't have know. no, you have Amy, no clue. Amy Ga- was, that's coming out. Don't own one of them. Gage was the guy that was putting uh, on the, the thing. So, yeah, of course, you got to get... Have you seen Entourage? No. Okay, I was saying that yesterday too. It didn't yeah. help anyone. No, but I was like, <laughs> I was like never yo, seen Entourage, episode. like that hot girl's that hot girl's dad who like bet on soccer in Entourage. And anyone who watches Entourage, they would know what I'm talking about. And that's like Dennis Hopper. Yeah, I know but, Dennis Hopper. I mean, I was I, I was born in '95. The category was '90s movies. So You're '95. Like, yeah. Uh, look, dude. You're what, much where was 30. this trivia thing? Bricks and Ops? Uh, it's I'm on the... Forward to it. no. I think it's the second and the fourth Wednesday. Yeah, it would suck at all the... Wednesday at 6 30. It's fun. Yeah. No, because it was last night. Dude, they said trivia. Kitchen Basics, and I was like, oh, I, I, I cook. I, I probably know oh, this. There was okay. Okay. Chef Tito. Okay. But it was all baking stuff, and I was like, Baking lost. soda. Lost. I was lost. lost. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it was all Question. about baking soda. I don't bake. I just like, you know what I mean? I can make a steak decent, but like baking is real cooking, for sure. Fuck a favorite movie. What's your favorite dish to cook? Lasagna. No hesitation. Break it down quick. Summarize lasagna. How lasagna do you do is two sauces. You make a bechamel, which is a fancy name for like a cheese sauce. It makes the best mac-, mac and cheese in the world. You make a roux. I'm sure some of the listeners know what like a roux is. I don't. Explain it, please. Butter, Hot butter and flour. That's how you make a gravy. How you make okay. a sausage gravy or whatever. You don't have to use hot butter. You're making like- a roux for lasagna? Uh, yes, you make a bechamel sauce, so you make it out of butter Listen. instead of animal fats. <laughs> Usually a roux is made out of like animal fats, so you make like a gravy out of it, okay. right? Like you make yeah, it, yeah. get the sausage going, you get all that fat, so you take the sausage out and you put the, you know what I mean, the flour in there, make sure it don't clump up and make it like a nice smooth How long gravy? does it take you to do a yeah. lasagna? But anyway, so it's, it's like, gravy. <laughs> so you, yeah, dude, no, real talk. And the, my favorite part isn't the bechamel, that's simple. You know, it's like adding cheese to a roux until it thickens up, but the ragu. Okay. And I know ragu to us, like Americans, is like something mm. in a bottle. You, you buy, like, buy it in at the, the store. A jar. St- yeah, a jar. But ragu means like grandma's Thanks for that. freaking <laughs> pasta sauce in Italy. You know what I mean? It yeah, means yeah. like the sacred stuff, the good and stuff. And you know how to make that. Well, yeah, in my own way, I make like, uh, uh, I <laughs> it's mean, like my artistic interpretation. If I'm getting fancy, I'm going to Lakewood Meats, or I'm going to like some sort of butcher shop, gotcha. and I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna make like, you know, Italian sausage and beef and mm-hmm. equal parts, and then. I'm gonna add a bunch of red wine and. Okay, what about the what about the part that is, there's pasta in there, right? It's pasta. Yeah, well, it's like yeah. The flat well, pasta. well, the main thing about lasagna is you're making like yes, a pasta that's a dish. You know, what I mean, it's mm-hmm. like a casserole more than yeah. anything. And I love any type of casserole. After okay. football practice, coming home, my mom's like, "Oh, I made enchilada casserole," mm. and that's basically just like tortillas, meat, tortillas, cheese, meat, and you just you dig in there and you go nuts. <laughs> but like lasagna is the same way; it's like yeah. an Italian version of that in a way. So like lasagna is my that's my bread and butter. Yeah, I'm you make okay. two good ass sauces and then you fill them in with some wet mozzarella and some parmesan, and it's, it's game on. It's game and on. Is there any sides that go with this pot, uh, this uh, lasagna, or just lasagna? Garlic like- knots. Garlic what? Just because I'm kind of hungry right now. I'm kind of stoned. Garlic knots? Garlic knots. <laughs> What's that? Mm. When they make the little bread into a little garlic knots. I like got Walmart. Oh, I know what you're talking about. They like Someone twist, out they like there twist. knows. Well, garlic bread. Garlic bread. Yeah, but they like garlic twist garlic them up, bread. right? Yeah, they twist them up. It's like yeah, a fluffy. I've seen that before. Oh, okay. Yeah. Question. What's your favorite <laughs> dish to. Or no, sorry, sorry, sorry. What's a dish you're good at making but you don't like to make? Where it's like, yo, yo, make that again. It's hella good. You're like, fuck. Like, fuck, I will make it. It takes too long. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But it is, but everyone um, likes it, or it's hella good. You just yeah, one that takes like a while that I don't want my friends to ask for, really. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, fuck, dude. Maybe like pad thai. I've like, heard of that. I've heard a, of that. Pad thai, thai noodle just dish. saucy yep. noodles. Yep. And they don't understand that you got to kind of put a little effort into that. You know what I mean? <laughs> you got to roast your peanuts, and you got to do a bunch of little little details. But, yeah, I mean, huh? my favorite meal to make, to me, one I will be addicted to until the day I die. Other than lasagna? Is top. Ramen. Mm, ba- you gotta, you gotta throw some shit in there, right? Top ramen, baby. I don't even get too plain? crazy. Plain. <laughs> it's not. It's not plain. It's not just the packet. You know what I mean? <laughs> Everyone has their own ritual for eating their top ramen. Yeah, mine's dry. Mine's no like, dude. It. You never do one pack. 
No, you always. That's all I can handle. You never do one pack of top ramen. It's illegal. It's it's a it's, <laughs> it, it should be illegal. Hmm. Two How to do you three do it packs. There, Mr. Two, two, two packers. Packs. Two to three packs. So you pack easy. With Tapatio, <laughs> garlic. You know, what I mean, I'm putting in there a little beef cayenne, or chicken, pepper, a little chili powder. Beef or chicken? Oh God, that's a big question, huh? It's chicken. Can you mix no. both? Beef. I'm basic for that. Beef. I know beef. I'm so beef. basic for that. How can I go from naming out how to fucking? Because he didn't bring up t- shrimp. I mean, shrimp yeah, is I was good. Ask about have, shrimp. You, uh, have you ever tried uh, mixing shrimp? top ramen into any in of your actual food that you cook, like a little, oh, yeah, like yeah, a little yeah, sprinkle yeah, of yeah, top yeah. ramen well, dude, on it? The flavor packet is where it's all unlocked. Oh. We were just talking about this earlier. Wow. MSG is cheating, dude. <laughs> it's chemically cheating the human brain. You think you're eating meats and you think you're eating all this delicious stuff. Well, I don't know what MSG does, but I like it. It does exactly like it. that. <laughs> I was working at a food meat. truck that everyone in town was going and paying a bunch of money to eat, get, eat their food. And I would literally bring a pack of Top Ramen, mix some steak in with Top Ramen, eat like steak noodles with mm. just Top Ramen and steak, dude. Because I was like, those are my, I mean, it's bread and butter right yeah, there, dude. Yeah, that sounds amazing. It works so good. What kind good. of steak, though? Only with the MSG. Well, it's just, it, well I don't want to give all the secrets of the food industry, but <laughs> if you know how to trim. The keeper? To trim the fat off of certain cuts mm-hmm. of steak, yeah, like yeah. It's, there's one we use called top sirloin. Uh, if you know how to trim the fat off of there, you can save a lot of money per pound, because not a lot of people want to go through the work of like trimming their steak up. Oh, okay. Like, yeah, they want to buy a nice lean piece of meat, throw it in a cast iron, and just have a steak ready. But yeah. It's like if you got to trim through that thing, it's a lot. It's too much work for most people. So yeah. But you do it to save money, and it's kind of not that much work. Yeah, the, I mean the entire food industry does. They call it a steak sandwich. It's not usually like anything better than top sirloin. Damn, how did you get, get into cooking? Because I can't cook to save my life. I can cook. Have you tried a little bit? Oh, Have yeah. you got a little stoned and was like, you? I want to make myself something delicious. I don't smoke weed, but yeah, either over season or under season. Get and a then little I hungry eat a then. It doesn't matter if you're stoned. <laughs> oh, yeah. A little uh, buzz. Have an appetite. Buzz, well, buzz. dude, the drunk cheese are more powerful than the, the drunk, munchies. Drunk cheese. The That's drunk, good. The drunk cheese are powerful, dude. That's when you're just smashing noodles into your face. <laughs> <laughs> and you have no, you know what I mean? Like, that's, yes. You like pasta noodles type steel, stuff on that. You dude, I'm noodles, weak. Like, yeah. Yeah. I'm weak for carbs. Okay, question. Weak. What is your girlfriend's favorite dish Carbs. for you to make? Well, okay. <laughs> Carbs. Okay. Carb. Okay, but from me, probably breakfast. What kind? I make her a good breakfast sandwich. It's always on a bagel. Put a little cream cheese on the mm. bagel, but I'll also put like the egg and the bacon, and the avocado. And some honey. Bit bitches honey go wild for the yeah. bitches go wild for the avocado. <laughs> They love the avocado. Especially if you know how to cut it, too. If you know how to cut it, then scoop it out with a spoon and just lay it on there. <laughs> and you always got to do salt and pepper on your avocado so it's visible. And it's just like, damn, this guy knows what he's doing. Dress and then I up. take the Tapatio <laughs> bottle and I got the, I got the, Squeeze I call one. it, I'm like, babe, pass me the bitch. You know, like Denzel Washington and, um, uh, Denzel Washington, uh, what, what, what's the movie? He's like, pass me the bitch. It's the shotgun. Man on fire? No, uh, it's a uh, training equalizer. day. Training day. Training day. Yeah, I was gonna say that. They pass me the bitch, and it's the fucking shotgun, right? Mm-hmm. Like mine was the tapatio bottle. Yeah. Like the big leader and she tapatio bottle. So she tossed it me. Hit it with two <laughs> dude, of them. You sounded just it, like him. Hit it with two of them. And it squirts out. You know what out, I mean? Dude. Two of them squirts. Like this. <laughs> and it's on top of the sandwich. It looks all fancy. And and like and so yeah, it's an egg sandwich, bacon, avocado, tapatio. Dude. And that gets her that, that that that's kept her around for I don't know how long we've been dating, but so I think if I'm calculation is correct, seven years. A long time. We've known each other for that long, if not longer. I mean, we were like high school, like almost sweethearts. Mm-hmm. We were kind of just like dipping our dip, dip, yeah. dipping our toes in the water. It's yeah, no, yeah. it's no fairy tale, you know. Dude, Theovon. I can't. I can't unhear it now. Sorry. I can't hear it. Dude, Dude. you're fucking awesome. Okay. <laughs> Do you have any boy. aspirations of keeping it simple, but maybe possibly starting your own place? Because you sound like you're very passionate about this. I can see it in your eyes, and I can yeah. smell your pheromones. Definitely I have passionate. no money. But yeah, I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't say tomorrow. I but said I got to inspire have... someone to believe in me in a way. Yes, I do have that entrepreneurship dude. mindset where it's like, I, dude, I know I have like skills with my hands. I love the kitchen. I love to make things taste good. That that that. But you need more. Strikes than me. I'm I'm very shocked that you don't strike me as someone that'd be passionate about cooking. I don't know. Right. Why. You seem like a. You seem like a typical. Oh. Not in a bad way. Gym rat, dude, that yeah, just likes to head. fucking yeah, hang yeah. out, party, and just have a good time and like live I life. I love to party, but cooking to also to also <laughs> live life. That is me, cooking. but cooking too. God, that's damn. impressive. Love to party. I fucking love that. You know the best way to get rid of a hangover? 
Some good food? A big old egg sandwich with some cream <laughs> cheese and some tapatio, baby boy. No, but no, it, it does kind of somehow live hand in hand where like even before I went to hang out with Braden, I was like, yo, I'm going to get some El Grilente tacos, El Pastor, you know, extra. With pineapple. Have you done that yet? <sighs> Ooh. With pineapple chunks and cilantro. Dude, well, that's really why good. I miss La Malinche. You remember know who La Malinche is? If you're doing is? pastor right, you got to have yo, the onion and the pineapple. That shit's on no, central, onion. dude. That's just on central. That's how they do it in like so Mexico. So that's how you know it's legit. It basically is Mexico. If you're talking about <laughs> central street Lodi. I don't know if any of our listeners. Central street Lodi is damn near Mexico. Lodi Avenue. Um, uh, well, no, just Lodi as a city. Central is, is, is it, it runs across. I think it runs across Lodi Avenue. Yeah, 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 of course it, yeah it does. It does. Of course it runs. Lodi runs, it runs north and south. And it's got that corner market that has a shark painted on there. Yes, yes. That's yes. Lodi oh. Avenue, isn't it? Yes, it is Lodi Avenue. That's corner right. Lodi Avenue. He's right. He's right. Uh, as far as finally visiting. you come down. a <laughs> But then they have the La Malinche, which is like literally they live upstairs. And they uh. just like, it's like a mother and daughter restaurant. They have like freaking really? little habaneros that are like dried that you can just like nibble on while you have your taco. <laughs> it's a good and they're like, idea. Yeah, you got to be a maniac. But it's like, it, dude, the dude. whole experience is incredible. They have like basically like what you're talking about. Is it like the red pork? Mm-hmm. When yeah. the pork's red, where they fucking cut it off the fucking. Like I'm a chef, thing. I still don't know what like a Euro, what the fuck like... they do to that pork to make it red. <laughs> but then they have the pineapple slices in between each layer <laughs> of the pork. No way. What are you saying? What do they do? They, they paint it. Dude. They paint it red. Yeah. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. It still tastes yeah. amazing. It's that little Mexican candy they got. Go that ahead. Oh, dude, chamoy or whatever. They're imagine? just dumping a bottle yeah. of chamoy. Over. Can you imagine, dude. <laughs> Some Mexicans are mad right now. I swear. Or, whatever you guys do, tahin? send it in the comments because, dude. I want to know. <laughs> On my we're not going to call it chamoy. We're not going to call it chamoy anymore. Yeah. I don't. I don't think it's chamoy or tahini. It's cholo. Tahini needs to go on top of this right here. I mean, goddamn. I don't have any. A little fun. salty, right delicious. Now, you guys do uh, tahini on uh, white claws or? Yeah, it's too messy for me. Like chamoy and it's it's too much. Chamoy and tahini probably is too much. It's too much. It drips down your hand. That's but fair. I do put clamato in here sometimes. It's really oh, good. A little red beer action. I, think I have some. no. This no, llama place, that's the that's is that the <laughs> place llama. with the shark on it? No, it's next door. It's like literally looks like an apartment complex, but it's like a way smaller version. <laughs> it should say so they it got on this there, right? little hole in the wall that's going down downstairs. And me and my boy Brandon. And what's crazy is like he was like, Oh yeah, my mom found this place. And his mom is like a straight up like classy white lady yeah. so I'm like what the fuck was she doing on Central looking for tacos but Wait, she Jose. but dude she was just dude she's got the eye bro secrets and me and I mean me and me and B Mickey were, dude to this day we're like that's the best place that's ever sold tacos in Lodi and it's long gone now I think it's like oh it is you oh, can't do that to us I was about to walk well yo La Malinche and Lodi if, if, if that ever opens back up like it's gonna get a little more business hopefully okay perfect well now well, it, that's just all I ever up. need so I mean, where's the best taco place now then? Or ooh. Mexican food place in Lodi? Where would you go? Fuck. In Lodi. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> the best taco truck? Can we in, just in, say in, taco in, truck? Okay. Okay. okay yeah. Sure. Um, La Sabrosita. Where's that one at? Um, you know where that used tire place is? And they have that like <laughs> freaking liquor store that has a hell of advertisements on the walls. Dude, that's like every corner in Lodi. Yeah, dude. <laughs> the tire place. Oh, no. The Golden Dragon Chinese place has got the freaking dragon. Oh, down, near downtown. It's downtown. Oh, it's before you, you turn left into downtown. It's more on. Uh, yeah. It's on. Uh, Stockton. Stockton Street. And yeah. it's uh, right of that. So you go right <laughs> on. I don't know what street that would be. Golden Dragon's on the same street. It's like the street before the. Is the it arch. actually called Golden Dragon? Yeah. I okay. Mean, okay. It has, it has sure. a dragon. It's a white building with a it's dragon. A, it definitely yeah. got a dragon painted on the yeah, outside. Red yeah. dragon. Oh, and it's got a used oh. car lot right across the yes, street with the, the tires and shit. Oh, oh yes. And it's all and in there's Spanish. A truck, there's a truck parked like yeah. diagonal with a car on it all the one time. One lot over from that liquor store. Is it a four 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 way stop right there? Yes, I think. Yes. Yes, there is. Yeah, I think I right know what you're talking about. And you go right on that four way stop if you're going like um, away yeah, from. Oh, sorry. Uh, if you're going away from Smart and Final, I think uh, it's Smart and Final, a grocery outlet, whatever one it is right now. I think it's Smart, <laughs> Smart and Final. You would turn I don't left know what to the go to downtown Lodi. Yes. Um, yes. Yeah. Okay. But instead, you go right towards Hale Park and all the, the ghetto. You got all the pinatas out there. <laughs> pinatas and all that. <laughs> but you know, that is, dude, if you ask for the crispy pork, this is from Sam Seed. Crispy pork. Shout out Sam Seed. Yeah, I was about to say. Shout out to him and Feast Lodi. I love them forever. But Hell um, yes. crispy pork and the crispy shell. 
you get double crispy with like the al pastor <laughs> action going on almost like a carnitas action going on do you have ever made a Unreal. taco but like a tortilla big one like a taco out of it Fried. dude you know what i've been into i don't know why you just brought this into my dude like literally you just inspired me real quick but my favorite taco <laughs> to make right now is to get the those tostada shells that like you know they're right next to the tortillas in every store. The hard you go to the tortillas the one. and you're like, who buys these tostada shells? <laughs> you should. You know what I mean? <laughs> buy the buy the extra large tortillas. Make your own Crunchwrap Supremes, bro. Oh my God. If I made you guys a crunch, I shouldn't call it Supreme. I just, if I made you guys the Crunchwrap. I don't use sour cream. I guess I don't, what do they add to the Crunchwrap? I don't know what they add. I don't know. But anyway. I literally get the Taco Bell sauce in the bottle. Oh yeah, I got that. That's and so I, and I, dude, I try to. I don't try to fancy it up. I try to make, make that it? thing fucking Taco Bell. Ah, you gotta uh, leave it under like. Uh, well, you like get the large tortilla. You know what I mean? You throw the meat. You throw <laughs> the meat on there. <laughs> the heat lamp yeah, for a month. For a month. No, no yeah. cap. It yeah. still tastes good. It It'll probably still it probably, tastes good. It probably softens up that shell just enough because it's probably too hard when you're chewing it, huh? No, I mean no, I mean no. You want that crisp in the middle. That's yeah. the whole textural. Selling point of a Crunchwrap Supreme is that you want Crunch, that, like, kind of the name. random ass chips in the middle. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then I realized that you could, you, instead of using a tostada shell, you can just put Doritos in a circle. <laughs> where all the triangles all up. They're all triangles where they all, the, all the points are pointing towards the middle. And I was like, dude, this is just opening all different kinds of doors for dude, making Crunchwrap. What if you make so an outside layer of normal Dorito dude, and, they're the missing cool ranch, that, and then like the, the pepper layered one? Layered Crunchwrap, dude. But not layered, but like inward, you know what I mean? Different. Like flavor is coming in. Crunchwrap pyramid. Like, yeah. I feel like Taco Bell's missing the, because they had the Doritos Loco Taco. Yeah. But you could have the Doritos Loco Crunchwrap. Where the, dude, first off. <laughs> Shout out Taco Bell. What are you guys doing? How genius that was. What are you guys doing? Where did the Doritos Locos Taco go? Because I'm pissed. I can't remember I the last time I've been to Taco Bell, Bell in a while. Or fast food at all. I love fast well, food. That's your, Taco Bell. That, that's your own problem, brother. No, I love fast food. I just don't like Taco Bell as much. Dude, your Fair. boy would devour some McDonald's right now. Dude, for Often. some reason, those golden arches, its they put crack in their salt or something, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Why do. do you see those golden arches? You're like, and their sweet tea. Two McDoubles, large fry. Uh, number seven. Coke. Oh, no, no, never mind. I do, I do the number seven. They're two single cheeseburgers with McGang the fucking bang. large fry and um, a sweet tea. Oh, sorry. You're sorry, good. microphone. But yes, that is all you freaking need, dude. Mm -hmm. And you do you put the fries in the, in the burger? No, I eat the fries first, though. My man's a sociopath. Have you ever ate? So, have you ever got like the frappuccino Eating from McDonald's? Fries yes. first is a little weird. Have you ever had the frappuccino from McDonald's and dipped your fries in it and ate it? The Whoa. frappuccino, yeah. it's good. This guy knows flavor right here, dude. No, <laughs> it's like Insane. it's like dipping your fries in a milkshake, but it's like a coffee it, milkshake. It's good. That mm. is delicious. And, yeah. That is fire. Sweet and salty, perfect. My fat days. <laughs> And she didn't get back to no him, dude. Get You're probably happier. He was probably happier <laughs> during the fact. No, sad motherfucker. Let's be real. No, but he's a firefighter now. You know, yeah. Not, I mean, you got it sucks just though, making you know. good money and getting girls your whole life. You know, girls love firefighters. As far as I'm concerned, I don't mean I don't, I don't talk to that many of them. But <laughs> from what I heard, I mean, from what I heard them? on TV, yes, on the on yeah. the TV, they love Chicago Fire guys. It's crazy. You know, they'll watch it. No, for sure. <laughs> Yeah. Dude, I'm fucking. This is awesome that you went on that. We went this long on food. That's amazing. What's your least favorite food? Olives. Yeah, I don't like what olives. What kind? I would black. 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 Oh, do you like, get, do you like the green olives? That juice goes damn good in a, in a, in a uh, martini, Bloody Mary, or a martini. Yeah. You know no. what I mean? No. But um, you know Dirty what's martini? a better juice for all of our listeners? Pickle. Dude, don't use. Oh god, that's fire too. Dude, I'll snort pickle juice. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, so that's, good. but that's standard practice. The pickles are <laughs> kind of standard. But yo, pepperoncini juice. A lot, people, a lot of people sleep on the pepperoncinis. Wait, the little yellow ones? The banana peppers that are yeah, cut up. Yeah. Pepperoncinis. That well, pepperoncinis. We'll call them pepperoncinis. <laughs> Even though that's obviously pepper not cheese. grammatically correct. Spell it. Spell it, pepperoncini. It's pepperoncinis. Pe spell it. P P E P P E R O N. That's the part he forgot. C I N I. The, the O is silent, like the K and knife. The, is silent. the yes. Pepperoncini. Yes. The pepperoncinis Pepper is like genius. if anyone calls them pepperoncinis, they're fucking they're they're a snob. <laughs> you just said it eight times. I did. I'm a snob. I'm not hiding from it. Okay, I'm so, a snob. So just that juice. 
the no that instead of like green olive or pickle oh, juice or God. whatever vinegar you need to use in your bloody mary yeah, or yeah, your yeah. clamato beer or whatever are you good. dude mm. so good you do got to throw a little bit uh, if you're making a good bloody mary you do have to take some of that pepper juice pepperoni Pe- she said pepperoni like Siri's going to understand that dude that is not grammatically correct ah oh, you're right let's hear it Wait, let's show sh- it let's hear it let's hear Siri how do you say listen it? to it so there's yeah. a little like microphone yeah. thing on like Merriam Webster probably you got to go to like a dictionary though Hold on, you guys can keep going. It'll take me about 20 <laughs> Correct minutes. Correct pronunciation. Of hey, do you like pickled anything? Yes, almost everything. My dad pickles a- uh, eggs, hard-boiled eggs, until they're purple, yes. and then he fucking rips through Until them. they're purple? Until they're purple, dude. Like, three months. No, I think longer than that. I don't think that. I've seen purple. Oh, what? Yeah, he, I would it's, eat it, them. it's all the stuff he puts in there, and they turn dark purple, like a bruise, and then that's when he eats them, and they're pink on the inside, and then the fucking yolk is a light gray purple. Is that why he's so jacked? Is that why I he, think so. it's it just giving him pure testosterone? Oh, here it is. All right, we got it. Pepperoncini. Oh, Pepperon. Wait, <laughs> hold on. Wait, Say it again. Hold on. Do it again. Pepperoncini. Say it again. Pepperoncini. Pepperoncini. No, it was like pepperon. She has pepperon. Pepperoncini. Pepperon. Pepperoncini. Pepperon. This is how you heard. It says, sounds like. You heard that little Pepper- sneaky syllable in there. P-H. This is how it sounds. P-H dot P-R dot. U H N. I can't do dot C H E E N E N E E S P H three H three five. U H N was the un, the pepperoni. There, there was like Pepper some coordinates no, he in said there. It perfect. Point three five. Pepperoncini. 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 No, you're again. skipping Shoot. one. Still, Mark. Uh, ready? Watch. Pepperon. Pepperoncini. Ready? Wait. Let me go. Let me go. Ready? Pepperoncini. No. <laughs> it's just still. Pepperoncini. He's so stubborn. It's pepperon. It is. Pepper on my chinis. Pepper on my chichis? <laughs> pepper on my chichis? chichis. Uh, pepper and chinis. Nothing yes. about food, man. Okay. I mean, goddamn, I love everything. Like People think chefs want to cook for themselves all the time. Like, dude, cook me a grilled cheese. I'll, okay. eat, I'll eat it. I'm, I'm a happy. Question. I do love you, food. Do you think I should trust you? Because the saying is, never trust a skinny chef. And you're pretty jacked. <laughs> Stop so it. So that means you're not tasting your food, Stop which means it. you don't care they never, enough. They, 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 they don't say... Never trust a, a chef that has a like decent looking upper body but still has a gut. <laughs> I don't think you have a gut, dude. Well, I don't want to. Sh- I don't know what this is. Is this PG thirteen? It's a uh, PG eighty five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that cook life. That's like four abs. I trust that's you. That's four abs. I trust. Tops. Okay, I trust you. I trust. I trust yeah, my, you. I mean, my girlfriend still loves me, so I don't got no that's problems. That's all that matters. That's all I, that matters. I'm not a skinny chef. I am not a skinny chef. Let's get that tape. I didn't say you're skinny. I said you were built. I mean, I mean, you're he in eats shape. it and then he throws you it up. Trust me. <laughs> he throws it up after. <laughs> yeah. To actually taste it. And, and, Dude, I'll accidentally sometimes. I mean, goddamn. Like get a little like drunk a, while you're cooking. <laughs> he's like a, Somal, no, he's like a sommelier trying the wine and then spitting it out. He's, <laughs> yeah. he's eating the yes. food and then puking it up. Yeah. I, it needs more Ooh, salt. Yeah. Yeah. Top ramen. <laughs> you should have added two packs instead of one. Nah, I don't know. I'm not like that. I'm not like that. I'm not even like that with the pizza place I work at. I'm like, dude. Pizza is pizza, bro. How's that going? Question. How and people will eat that shit dude, no matter what. Have you ever had an upside down pizza? No, I don't think. Okay, so it's crust, sauce. No, no, sorry. Crust, cheese, and then sauce. Mm. And for some reason, the way it hits your mouth is really ridiculous. Also, really? a regular sliced pizza. We do this in New York. Regular sliced cheese pizza with a cup of cold, cold shredded mozzarella and before you take a bite of the hot pizza you pour the cold mozzarella on there mm. and you fucking take a bite it hits so fucking different Dude, really you'll be in the toilet so you've for been three in hours <laughs> you've been in new york and had, uh, you've had the pizza i went for four years straight at one point every what? every july yeah until covid hit and it fucked everybody up god damn so you've had the best pizza in the world you know what's crazy <clears throat> i like there, it. lately i've gotten sick of pizza with just the regular pizza <laughs> sauce and I was like, dude, and it's kind of similar. Yeah, it's kind of similar. Like, like, I kind of like, like the it's, white sauce. Pizza. Well, yeah. okay. Well, that's different. <laughs> Sometimes. That's different. I got sick of the regular marinara pizza. Yeah. And I was like, okay, give me a pepperoni. You know what I mean? Give me the regular <laughs> sopressata salami. The, sopressata. The, the salty Italian meats, they all taste the same. You know what I mean? Sausage, linguiça, pepperoni. If you're talking about changing the taste of a... T- changing the taste of a pizza, a pepperoncini would do a lot more than a piece of meat. Mm-hmm. Like, it's really the vegetables that chase the that change the flavor profiles of pizza. The only vegetable I put on my pizza is pineapple. <laughs> That's, That's fruit. Oh, That's fruit. fruit. I mean, no, no, oh, fruit. fruit. No, I meant fruit. No, I meant fruit. Only vegetable no. I use is tomato. Uh, <laughs> no, yeah. that's real. It no, is real. No, tomato's a fruit. Yeah, it is yeah, a fruit. It, no, it's not. Yeah, it is. It is. What yeah. tree does it grow on? It's really so not. It grows on a vine. It grows on a bush. We can get crazy. It's not a fruit. It's not a fruit. No. It's not a fruit. No. 
Mm-hmm. No, just like pepperoncini, the O we is get not. To it's not still uh, enunciated. It's, we make yes. the rules here. Yeah, we yeah. make in this exactly. room. It's a fruit. <laughs> it like what people use veggie. more often is what's real. Dude, this is everything else is bullshit. Uh, we sold a house. Um and they have a tree that's like super big, like a regular tree, and it's an avocado tree, and it actually produces avocados. Yeah, that's where they grow on. Dude, and it's massive. It's a huge tree. It's like fucking yeah, two big. stories tall. They get real big. They're, I didn't. I didn't know that. That's I thought probably, avocados I mean, grew they're on. Tough to, a bush. They're tough to grow around here. Oh, I did. It's 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 alive and lovely. Yeah, but they're rare. Um, yeah, like having a thriving tree like that of avocados, like dude. It's rare. Surprised there's not high school girls just like constantly just <laughs> hanging on them. <laughs> I don't know why I'm attracted to this tree. I just <laughs> I just avocado. know the fruits of it. Hang is, out is, is avocado a fruit? I think so. Uh, yeah, I, don't, a seed, I can't. Right? I can't. Because that's you. real bullshit. No, isn't it the grows. thing with a seed? <laughs> no, it's, it's a, a seed. It's a yeah, but it has to have a. I think a pit. A pit. Well, this is, is a. It's gotta have seeds. It's, yeah, if no, it grows, you're right. If yeah. it grows on a vine, it's a fruit. I'm pretty sure. No. And what about apples? That's well, apples have tree. seeds and yeah. they grow. On, but I mean, the, if it, or if it grows on a tree and it has, there's like a rule with that. I thought it was seeds. Yeah, I thought he was right on the seeds. Well, yeah, of course. And that's why a cucumber grow on a plant. And I, oh. Tell me if you Google vegetables, they'll have a big green spread, mm-hmm. and a cucumber will be involved. Yeah, and a cucumber is a fruit. No. Well, well, that's what no. I. I, I, I is it a fruit? Well, I, I guess seeds aren't right. right because yeah, I guess there should be something in the middle. Seeds in the middle, like all peppers have seeds. <laughs> I'm slow, it. The Hello? slowest Hello? mic drop ever. <laughs> like, it's a grace. Pepperoncinis have seeds, <laughs> and they're a pepper, which is a vegetable. So it's got to have a pit to be a fruit. Look but what, pineapple look, doesn't have a pit. Not a pit. I don't think it has to be a, have a pit to be a fruit. Pineapple doesn't have, have seeds. He's using the word ovary in here. <laughs> pineapple That's is a thing. weird plant. So, I don't know what to call it Coconut? Now. What's a coconut? What is that? Is that a fruit? Because it um, doesn't have seeds It's a coconut. Oh, it's a nut. I don't know. Oh, my God. Whoa. Is coconut like a, a nut? Is it a nut? Uh, the oh. biggest of I don't the know. Someone who knows all this probably thinks we sound really dumb right yeah, now. For sure. But just trust me, no You're one knows this stuff, dude. Okay, wait. I Andrew. call myself a chef very loosely. <laughs> <laughs> Someone who's actually been to coloring school, I'm really sorry coloring. I call myself a chef. <laughs> coloring <laughs> school? <laughs> coloring. <laughs> Definitely did not say, say coloring. coloring. I said culinary. Okay. Culinary. <laughs> culinary. I skipped yeah. a couple syllables, but I meant culinary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to. No, I'm not trying to hate on no actual chefs. Because, yeah. Yeah, okay, I just respect. enjoy cooking. I'm not a chef. I'm going to call you chef. You I said your nickname that. is Chef Tito. A nickname no, can work. Tito, a nickname yeah. can work. Tito okay. is definitely started as a nickname, for sure. Respect. It was, a, it was a nickname I couldn't dodge, but it was also like, whatever. Do you like vodka? El Torito. Tito vodka? Dude, I'm honestly not picky. Yeah, I like really? vodka. Yeah. Do you I like whiskey the most. If it's like whiskey, tequila, vodka, gin, you know what I mean? Like the regular. Oh. Yeah, okay. Well. <laughs> I mean, goddamn. <laughs> okay, are we all gonna do one? Yeah, yeah, no. we'll go after okay. you. We'll go after you. Freaking degenerates. <laughs> Let's just... do it, baby. Oh, yeah. My favorite whiskey, without offending anyone, because this is a very American podcast. I do like the Irish. Some Russian. Oh. I do like the Irish. Respect. Whiskeys. I like no, Tillamore no, no, no. Dew. I like the Jameson. I like the picklebacks. I like the uh, little pickle juice up in here. I asked for a pickleback shot. Extra pickle. Hold the Extra back. Extra pickle. Hold the dude. back. Hold the whiskey. Yeah. Give me Give the two bottle shots. of pickles, dude. I'm dehydrated. And then I pull out my two packs of Top Ramen beef powder and just <laughs> right over the tops. Unreal. What if you put that on the rim with like a Kamado? It stuff? would be oh! unreal. That's dude. the answer. Ah. Have, it would game change have, immediately. Do that. Have you gone? Dip it in MSG. <laughs> and then freaking A. I'm spilling my shot. That's you guys okay. better hurry up. Hurry up. Yeah. Oh, no. I'll go after you. You do the bottle. Oh, okay. Just one shot each. <laughs> Sick. Let me see that shit. Oh, Ooh, that's okay. Oh, God damn. That's 17 years old, I think. There you go. It's yeah. definitely been aging up here. It's great. Good job. <laughs> Freedom whiskey. Freedom, baby, motherfucker. It says have a shot right on the label. I mean, should I do it? Why not? Do we important something listeners. for you? No, no, no. You guys need to do one. Yeah, I'm not well, do well you have to do both before I do even think about doing I'm one. I'm going to drink that in a bottle? You freaking did you're the only. You're the only one. You guys are both doing two shots. Okay, oh, deal. If crazy. I do these two, you guys are going to do them with me. I'll chuck ah. my beer. I'll chuck my beer. I mean, dude, we're drinking beers. We're having fun. I'll, I'll, do, I'll do a little bit with you. I'll do a little Shut bit. You should, try that. you should bust that moonshine out for him. No. How about we make oh. Braden take a shot? He thinks he's off camera. He's, he's, he's safe. He's he thinks he's safe over there. Go give hey, him don't, a don't shot. Expose me. <laughs> he's got a sexy voice. That's why he's off camera. We he saved does. his yeah. voice for the ASMR. He's got, the, <laughs> he's got that Joe Rogan. <laughs> you get that Theo? Yeah. Listen to me oh breathe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. Uno, okay. uno mas. Dude, you want to try the best moonshine in the whole entire fucking world? 
Is it made out of like cherries from your crazy uncle or something? What's no, going no, on? It, it, Apples. It, it, it tastes like apple cider. You can't even tell. It. Okay, we're back. <laughs> give me it. You it's guys right, no, it's is right it really going to happen? That's, right back no, that's not in here. It, from. Oh, that's not it? I'm going to give him a cold one. Oh, give me gotcha. some of that. Come on. Come on. I ain't picky, man. I'm it a, is cold outside. I'm a man. That stuff's not bad. Let's Put some hair on my let chest, let me taste baby. It for you and I'll see if it's good or not. Still, this is what I like to see. Not a boy, Marky. Let's like, go. Just like mold at the top. <laughs> it's perfect. It's not, perfect. It's aged. Oh, no, Lick no, that no. mold off for me, baby. Ooh, dude, just smell it real quick. Ooh, wow. Mm. That does not oh, smell wow. anything like alcohol. Just so uh, the people know, that smells like Whoa, an it's apple still pie, good. With it's been nutmeg, here for and two weeks. cinnamon, and hey. that smells super good. Hi, mom. Hey, mom. Mom's a Tito. What's up? Oh, hi. Hello. What's up? Hi, Crystal. I didn't have a mustache. I just saw it. <laughs> Dude. Yeah. yeah, you didn't show his up His own to, mother didn't even you notice didn't show it. Up to, uh, <laughs> you noticed it faster than his own mother. <laughs> yeah, my mom said nothing about it today. Shout out, Mom. Wow. Dude. Shout out, Mom. Forgot well, about Mark, my mustache. Mark, he's obviously blessed with, it, with, with top of the line mother. Uh, mother uh, yeah, I've been told that before, yes. Uh, That's no doubt. Okay. Love you, Mom. Bye. 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 Okay, okay. Try it, try it. Tell me what you think. But, but be careful because it's very I mean, strong. Judging how it smells. Just chug it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> don't <laughs> don't chug that. Don't threaten You'll me with a good time. It's very strong. I'll do it. It's very strong. That tastes way too good to be moonshine. Right? Unreal. And that'll yeah. fuck you up, dude. Your I crazy had... uncle is a is a freaking genius, dude. It was the last podcast guest, which is like a family friend I've known nice. forever. Yeah. But um, and this is this is two weeks sitting in this in this shed. Ferment or I don't it's, know what the word is. Well, it's but probably doing the same thing at his house too. Fermented gin, gin, gin. No, he usually put it in the fridge. Oh, uh, does he have a whole fridge full? We have we have three in the fridge right now. Oh shit. Dude, this will be a bomb, bomb. That Are needs to be heated up. No? You could drink that hot. Are like you gonna try this? Toddy or something with a little floater, yeah. a little whiskey on top. Okay. There you go. Light that could be unreal. Fire. And then you get way too drunk because it's already a sh- it's already <laughs> a moonshine in itself. What's your least favorite alcohol? Um, goddamn, that's hard, kind of, huh? Uh, no, I can tell you. How many Anything kinds are there? Let's let's break Any it down. Liquor. Let's break it down. Tequila. Well, there's seven types tequila, of tequila, fuck tequila, whiskey, vodka, vodka gin. Beer. Seltzer. Beer and seltzer count. Okay. Seltzer. No. Seltzer's technically God, beer. Seltzer my least favorite. That's o- kind of vodka and tequila. It's super easy to drink. Wait, yeah, like but gin. gin, if you mix it with the right no, stuff, everyone's no. going to say gin. I know gin everyone's going to say gin, gin. Gin's good, though. Gin sometimes. is mixed so good mm. with, with fruity stuff. And, you know what I mean? You make a really good mixed drink with gin. Gin's good. Oh, what's a good mixed drink with gin? I don't like fuck. A gin and tonic? The classic mixed drink? Tonic? Of- is yeah. that soda water? Yeah. That's Gin, disgusting. tonic, and lime, baby. Lime, you're in yeah. Vegas. Or lemon. Uh, you've or. been at a Vegas pool party. You're like, you, you got this girl with a big old bendy straw. You're like, hey, can I have some of that? <laughs> <laughs> but it's a $50 drink in yeah. Vegas. <laughs> so you're not going to buy more than one. You got fucked up off yours. You're done. Yep. You know what I mean? You're, but you might, you might you still hit take a your sip. limit. Mm. You just carry the straw around. You just, just carry the whole thing around, <laughs> fill it up with pool water. Suck it, dude. You just you just, <laughs> just lurk on other people. <laughs> you just scoop up some pool water. Off somebody and else's. Just act like you're drinking, and then yeah, hit off everybody else's. It's, oh. genius. it's genius. You yeah. just you just shake it off in the cup, yeah. over here. I mean, Wait, dude, can I try Vegas some of yours? You want some of mine? God Russia. damn! People's like, oh yeah, men have all the opportunities. <laughs> No. Vegas bartenders, dude. Have all the opportunities, <laughs> they whatever make sex they are. So much <laughs> money, dude. Incredible. What was your best experience in Vegas? How many times have you been? Three. And what was your best? First, second, or third? My first. Yeah. What'd you do? My first, dude. My sister, uh, shout out Haley and Brooke Ortiz. Dude, I just found that out. My older sisters, they're awesome. They they took me there and they disguised all their friends well, you know as my posse. So it was like you know how the bars will be like, yo, you need to have two to one ratio. Yeah, fucking. You need to have stupid. twelve girls for every six yeah, guys. So I had six. my boys with me, about six or seven, and they had all their friends to help like support that oh, that dream. Yes. So we got in everywhere. We had fifteen chicks with us that were all just like obviously off limits to me. They're all my sister's friends, but it was, yeah. it, that didn't matter. I was just trying to party with my boys. <laughs> yeah, a so, good time. That was the best Vegas trip ever. Everything was paid for. You know what I mean? My sisters did pay for everything, too. So Shout that out. does help. But it was mostly the access that we had to where, like, if you have a big group of boys and you're going to Vegas, you are Nothing's a fucking happening. idiot. <laughs> Unless you have millions. <laughs> Unless you have, well, not mil- well, you just enough. Enough, enough money to yeah. spend. I mean, goddamn. But, did, yeah, that was my best Vegas trip of all of them. Did you see I, anybody famous at all, any of your three trips? Um, no, I, I saw the, I saw a lot of famous people when I was doing a job I used to do, which is a fucking badass job. I showed it? up to Fresno State, 17 years old. Shout out. And Yeah, shout out. I never played football. I, I, uh, I, I stole this from my boy, Dylan Root. But <laughs> Shout out. 
Um, <laughs> shout out to Dylan Root, who yeah. also did the same job. I'm about to tell you guys about my boy Tony Russell, absolute legend. Came up to me, he was like, "Dude, you want to work a you want to work a festival? You want to like sell churros at a festival?" Hell yes! And I was like, "Well, you know what? I need money." So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> guess what the festival was, dude? It was fucking Coachella. Oh no! It shit. was fucking Coachella. He hooked us up with this like the group of Asian fools what? that were selling that had the bid of <laughs> of pretzels and churros at Coachella. What? So I got to like work a booth at Coachella for the next five, six, seven years. I've been to eight or nine Coachellas. What? Yeah, both weekends. And and a lot of people don't know Stagecoach is at the same venue as Coachella. I didn't know that. I've never been to either one. So the grass is like bright green. And this is kind of like my understanding of it. The grass is beautiful. <laughs> it's a tennis garden, a, po- a polo field. Obviously, the horse, you know what I mean? It's a sport involving horses. Horse? It's a big old field. I right? love horse. Same thing about outside lands in, in, um, in, in, Golden, in Golden Gate Park. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. So they have like a polo field, which is obviously horses need a pretty big field to play a sport or whatever. Yeah, horses so are a large animal. The Indian Wells Tennis Gardens, which is a polo slash tennis place, whatever, Damn. rich people shit. Um, they that's where Coachella is hosted every year in the middle of the desert. I didn't know that. I've never been. I've yeah. never even been in like an opportunity to even go. Either. They sell so many tickets. They have to do it two weekends in a row. So people's like, oh, weekend one Coachella is like where you Saturday meet all the famous and people Sunday? and shit. Saturday and Sunday, and it's, then Saturday it's and Sunday Friday, again. Saturday, Sunday on both weekends. What? And the third weekend, it's three weekends in a row because the third weekend is Stagecoach. So what's what crazy is weekend fuck? one, they have bright green grass. Everyone treads, you know what I mean? Yeah. Stomps the grass out. It's it's dead. And then they <laughs> go with a big ass fucking truck. And they I swear to God, it. I'm not making this up. They spray, you already knew. I knew it. Dude. They spray you. paint the grass green. What? For the, the second grass. weekend. And then once people really kill all that shit, they're like, oh, <laughs> all right, it's all dry and yellow. Let's just have a country. Let's have a country concert. Oh my gosh. Hey. So then they have, have the biggest country stagecoach. Yeah. People have been to stagecoach. I've never been. Never been there. God, yet. dude. Okay. Never been anything like that. Mm-hmm, Stagecoach is like, like a high a school party. A high school party with like thousands of people invited, but the parents are invited too. <laughs> and they're just as fucked up and enthusiastic. <laughs> they're not trying to stop the thing like, this is my house. I need to stop. No, the parents want to cry to Garth Brooks. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's beautiful. What's wrong with crying to Garth Brooks? Nothing. Oh, nothing okay. at all. But that's No, what they do. absolutely nothing at all. <laughs> I don't even like country music, and I see that kind of... I'm like, dude, I want to party with y'alls. You know what I mean? Like, I don't even <laughs> like country ca- music. I wish I could get into it like that. Grab you know cowboy what I mean? hat. What, what, what? I'll grab my... A lot of people do. <laughs> Andrew... Ch- dude, this guy, shirtless with a cowboy hat. <laughs> and Marky, too. <laughs> Listeners, you've never seen these guys with their shirts off? God damn. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> they have Cypher six more survived. abs than I have. <laughs> <laughs> they might even have eight, but I might have two. So that's where I get the six from. I might have two. That's hilarious. No, but they know. What, what don't you like about country? Um, what, what? Wow. Country wow. music. That's a tough question, huh? It's like something, I, I can't put my finger on it, but I just know that there's like two or three country songs. I'm like, okay, I can get down to. Andrew yeah. plays them. But usually when country comes, I'm like, oh, fuck. Who yeah. cares? T- 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 I would rather listen to Static on the radio yeah. than Country, really, in my opinion. Fuck. But you still get it stuck in your head. Some songs. So it's like catchy. What's that song, Andrew, that you always sing? Oh. I got my toes in the water, ass, ass in the sand. Not, not a, a word. So, some world, country fan is laughing at us right now. But that's me. That's, 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 that's the like peak. Brown bands that's like the brown. peak. Andrew, what's that guy's name? Taylor Ch- Tyler Childers. Childers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Tyler oh, Childers. I'll it's not country music. Yeah. Oh, what is it? It has, it's country. It's like good music. Ah, oh, dude, I'll fucking take my shirt I'm off. I'm too and stubborn. To him. It's country music. It's country. Just, but he Fine. makes it right. Bluegrass folk. Yeah, yeah, he makes it right. Yeah. Have you guys heard of the Bluegrass Festival in San Francisco? It's like, um, it's in Golden Gate Park, same place as Outside Lands. You guys heard of Outside Lands, right? Yes, I almost went. I almost went to Hard Summer I feel too. Like there, be way too hippie there though. Not hippie, but it's like not way hippie. too be like people be walking around with like rainbows and masks. <laughs> Hella, <laughs> that is also so, true. People I, will be. Like, I don't like that. God. But also, you go there, you party. Everyone is equally invested in having a good time. Okay, so they're gonna share every last piece of having a good time they have everyone's going to share their drugs and alcohol and and they're going to share their drugs. blunts and and whatever it's like you know drugs aren't important it's just like dude everyone's just invested in having it's, a good time yeah. literally money invested in having a good time so no one's going to be like it's like camaraderie vibes. with everybody yeah. 
Yeah, I respect and it, that. And, and for us, like living right here by San Francisco, like it's a big spectacle for everyone else. They're like, oh my god, this is like San Francisco. It, like, oh seems- my god, dude, my friends from New York came out and visited, and we went to San Francisco, and they're like, it is so clean here. And I was like, no, no, it's not. You dude, smell then, the I, sh- then I took them you to smell Mon- hobo piss. You smell oh, the more piss. Often. As soon as you get on the bridge, you're like, uh, New dude, York. That's what we smell because yeah. we just uh, for some reason we have that like we filter all the good uh, stuff. Out, so we're New like, York. No, this smells like hobo yeah, dookie. I don't dude. lock it. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'm go to lock. New York, way worse. They don't have a trash system, so everyone brings their trash out and throws it onto the sidewalk. There's huge, like 50-yard piles of trash. Also, the steam that comes from the ground, you can't run through that. Can't. Yo, and East there's Coast. weird things that leak. Dude. from this, And they say if, you, if there's anything they say if there's anything leaking from like above you, don't walk don't walk through. Oh, no yeah. shit, yeah, dude. Bad. Like some oh, dookie liquid on your you. head? We jumped this fence to go on this like... Uh, this abandoned like this abandoned like old rail train tracks that's like turned into a walkway and like you can walk around it's like above the cityscape. Okay, we jump the fence. I land and these cats like four cats just scurried into these bushes. I was like holy fuck! I was like dude, we scared all those cats. Like that's crazy. And my boy Dan, shout out Dan, was like those weren't cats. Those are rats. Dude, the rats there are like fucking. They're like house cats, bro. They're massive. They're, oh my god! And I, and I saw one in daytime one time running down the fucking. You know, like we're like all like there's like you know the. Well, they're well stuff. fed boys. They're oh, big. They're yeah. big and healthy boys. Dude, it was just running around and then found this hole that I didn't think it was gonna fit in, and it fit into the hole and was gone. I was like, dude, and you can walk around open container. Oh no one cares. God. You can pee wherever you want. Doesn't no one cares. You Cops be able don't to walk around with a beer if you can't freaking yes. just throw all your trash on the ground they're like you can't drink <laughs> like new york you gotta be drunk you even walking you around there in high school like, you think you wanted that level of freedom until yeah. you see it until oh, you see them disgusting. rats scurrying so off of leftover in and out Dude, you're like, the the i don't want this anymore the size of cats i'm no not even kidding it was, i was a star or rats yeah or yeah rat, rat, rats cat, yeah cat rats Cats, I was like, that's that's like Middle Eastern. They have cats running the whole city or yeah. whatever. And I'm like, I'm down with that. I this like cats. Just, this is just Eastern. Yeah, cats are like no clean middle. and stuff. But like, but but New York having a bunch of rats just Dude. dominating the city streets. And the subway, I didn't touch nothing. And it smells like, it reeks of horrible piss down there. Yeah. Reeks of it. It's like, it's like her burns your eyes. You're just like, what the fuck? And then you're standing up trying not to fall over on the subway. And then you don't want to touch any rails. It's fucking dirty. It's dirty. Yeah. I'm sure but people, go, I'm sure people ride that subway that make literally 90K a year, too. Probably. Because they're living drive. in that mecca. You can't but drive. Also pay like it's just like the movies. $800,000 for rent. Yes. Per month. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I agree. But dude, it's just in like the movies. Upper Manhattan or whatever they're doing. But yeah. Queens. I, I hang on Queens usually. Okay. Long Island and Queens. Yeah. It's a good time. But, Once um, again, have you? has anyone seen Entourage? Run it back, baby. <laughs> no. no, for Run the second time. Run it back. <laughs> HBO. You watch a lot of shows, huh? I like TV shows. I, I watch a lot of movies during my, like, like now I, like, I'm the one that shows people movies. Okay, get, put us on one movie right now. Um, Have you guys seen, oh, god damn, off the top of my head? Yeah, dude, I put, you know, I put everybody on the spot. All right, all right. You're in the hot all seat, right, guys. All right, Come on. You guys seen The Martian? Nope. Matt, Matt Damon. No, oh, I heard uh, about it. A little bit of it. Though. He gets stranded there and has to grow his own like farm and cook and survive, right? Yeah. No, no. Don't overgeneralize my fucking movie. Dude. <laughs> you watch that goddamn movie. It's charming. Oh, it's, watch a charming, it. it's a charming, it's easy charming. watch. Is it on the flick? I'm Respect. trying to think of people that can it think of be. movies that you can watch with your lady. Because yeah. she's what if not going to pay lady? attention to... What if, what if we don't have a lady? To the uh, um, <laughs> any of the movies I want to watch. You're, the average woman is not going to pay attention to any of the movies I'm about to tell you guys right no, now. No, no. No, the Martian. I mean, come on, dude. Dude, Netflix oh, has Netflix got some bangers on right now. Yeah. Netflix, you see it? What, dude, what you got? Dude, they got Top Gun. Watch that last night. I, dude, I guarantee my girl hasn't seen Top Gun. I mean, but my I girlfriend also watched Top Gun. It, she had never seen it either. You got we a great girl. You got a great girl. Uh, then. She's awesome. I've, I mean, if she's willing to watch Top Gun, with I've you. never seen it. Uh, Zorro. Zoro's Zoro, good. The mask. Zoro's, Zoro? Zoro's incredible. Okay, three hundred on Carrey, here. Jim the mask. Oh my god. Okay, dude, you're blowing my mind. The Dark Knight is on here. Batman. Uh, uh, hello, <laughs> dude. Uh, why Troy? Does, uh, yeah. Troy with dude Brad Pitt in yeah. his finest state. <laughs> Dude, what else is on here today? He's fine in World War Z, but he fine fine in Troy. <laughs> the Last Samurai. Have you seen that? <laughs> with my boy Tom Cruise. Yeah, that's on God there? damn. Uh, Those else? are all movies my girl would never Netflix. agree to watch with me. <laughs> I'll watch it with my boys now. Dude, Netflix Andrew and never freaking Marky. But that's, I, I just. What kind of a movie? Babe, I... if you're watching this, finish <laughs> Game of Thrones with me. Dude, have you watched Vikings? No. 
watch Viking. I love Viking. I like dude. that guy favorite. though. I like him in Sons of Anarchy and in uh, Green Street Hooligans. And it's not the same guy. It looks like him. Jack him. Jack Slater or not yeah. Slater? <laughs> you think it's from Sons of Anarchy? He looks like the main character. It's not though. That's not him. No, I thought it <laughs> he's was. He's European, too. huh? He's like one of the, like, yeah. like a, how Game of Thrones works. You he's think you recognize him? His name him, is Ragnar Lothbrook. Shout yeah, out to all the freaking, freaking Viking guys who watch Vikings. Yeah, they're Scandinavian or something. They're actual yeah. Vikings. Yeah. God damn! I mean, that's where the Vikings would have been. It's on Amazon Prime. Vikings. I don't get. Story. I don't got Prime Video. I got, I got HBO Max, Hulu, Netflix. Ah. Uh. Damn, dude, out. you're paying all the fucking so money for to watch your shows. No. Shout out Haley Ortiz, my sister. <laughs> oh, she paid for you? Thank you for my Hulu subscription. Respect. Live Respect. TV included. That's a good sister. That's yes. a great sister. And shout out to Jan, my girlfriend's mom. She gives me Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I don't pay for any of this shit, man. I went on Truebill. I guess shout out Truebill, too. Found out what all my True subscriptions Blue? were, and I was like, Blue I was like, I'm off all these subscriptions, dude. You I ever, got enough to pay with rent you, and you utilities. Ever, you ever try Blue Chew? For boners? <laughs> <laughs> I got no problem. Well, no, it's, you know, you I can have, have more problem. boners. I'm not, I'm not, yeah, I'm not down boners. with bigger and more boners. It helps with stamina, too. Ooh. God damn! Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, I've never tried it. I tried maybe three. Four. I've tried five out of the six that I ordered. Yeah, that's pretty good. I've never tried it. What's I've up with number six? Couple. You gonna let me? You gonna let me borrow that do, for tonight? Do you want it? You can fucking have it. Nah. Fuck. Well, hey, he's got another pill that you could use too. Oh, I do. It's right here. This is from this What's is up, from Mali Co- or something. This is from Costa Rica. <laughs> Pass her over. Maybe you can court these. I'll freaking hey, entertain hey, yo, these this folks. Is, this is a real Costa Rican fucking sex pill, I guess. It's a Costa I, I, Rican ecstasy. Did you open it? No. Give me that. I'm is gonna it? open it now. Well, I opened the box, but I didn't open. If that's the pack. a Costa Rican press pill, you I don't know. like the way it's. I don't know. It's Dude, house he hasn't even un- <laughs> He hasn't even unleashed it. No, no, no. Yeah. My friend gave it. Uh, yeah. Let me see. It says Juventus Raven One Sildenafil 100 milligrams. Okay. Basically, uh, you're gonna have a good time. Probably. Yeah, you let me know how that goes. <laughs> Try it tomorrow night. It has Friday. a line in the middle that for me and Andrew serious. Chavez. <laughs> <laughs> Just split it. Split it. <laughs> We're both gonna have boners. I don't want any of you guys to feel <laughs> uncomfortable. weird or uncomfortable. <laughs> We're tripping on it. We're okay with having boners around each other. Right. You, Are you guys gonna want to see us take this drugs on camera? <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to do that. <laughs> well, listen here. Uh, I don't. I don't. Okay. So my friend says this. I'm down to Bienvenidos. <laughs> Juventus Raven. 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 <laughs> Raven's tabletas. Res recubi erteras. That's crazy. Costa Rican. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> you can put that in your pocket. Take it Costa, home. Hey, goes. Costa Rican. Hey, damn it. El Pura Vida, baby. El Pura Vida. <laughs> bueno Vista. That's not, a, that's not necessarily. Costa Rica. Yeah. No, hey. Bueno. Bueno Costa Rica. Damn. Yeah, no, um, I just mentioned that because that's uh, Theo Vaughn's fucking, uh, he, he promotes Blue Chew. Really? Yeah. So for, I, I got some. It asked me, one of the questions was, uh, how fast can you run up two flights of stairs? Five seconds? Ten seconds? Fifteen. It you, said, Mark, you put other. Ten seconds. <laughs> I put other three yeah. seconds because I'm just fast as fuck, boy. So I got some, I got these long legs. You boys skipping eight steps at a time. One thousand. No, that's not realistic. You don't homeboy. think I can run up two flights of stairs in three seconds? Dude, I would believe you're fast, but that is just that is that is Superman level. The, oh, super, I mean, that, super. I'm super person. Please don't assume. I'll I don't fuck deny. It. Fuck that shit up. I'll fuck that shit. We should we should test it. I, I think and you I have could. a torn hammy right now. I'll fucking still do Honestly, it. Honestly, you seconds. already made me a believer. <laughs> I can't respect. In that little respect. amount of time, yeah, I'm already. I I think you could do it. Oh, dude. Give we'll me that see, we'll see. Let's come on. Super. All of us have to share this Super caffeine. Pronoun. We're not. This is Super not a sponsor. Pronouns. We don't. I mean, Rain's better than Bang, but don't oh. don't uh, don't quote me. God, that sounded like. Don't a, quote me, boy, because I ain't shed that shit. That sounded like some deep echo when I. Yeah, watch. Ready? I'll do it again. Ready? It's such. Ready? Oh. Intense, do it again. Do it that's again. That's an intense sound. Oh, Andrew's got a good one. The sounds verdict like, has sounds like been a, uh, reached. It sounds like a uh, somebody like clanking some bars in prison, like from deep down in yes, the hole. Yes, dude. Like it's a, can it's make a, music pr- out of this. It's a ship hole. Yeah, yeah. This is a Let ship prison. Out. It's a shizen. Ship Sh- prison. Ship prison. All right, I got questions I won't for mess you. with this because I will break it probably. <laughs> That's how I am. I You're break good. things on accident. Okay, ready? We are, as of tonight, starting a new segment. Okay. It's called... Uh, <laughs> Everybody's got to get caffeinated. I had so much pre-workout due before this. I came from the fair. gym. I'm about That's to explode. Fair. Actually, this thing's still tingling. I'm not allowed to have energy drinks. I'm crazy. Crazy. All right, I'll drink it all. <laughs> I'll drink it all. Brie takes a blue chew. Awesome. <laughs> Boners are cool. <laughs> but you start spazzing on me. 
cut that shit out. All right, all right. New segment. It's called uh, TJ versus um, Weird Questions on the Internet on the State True Sundays podcast. It's okay. a mouthful, but we'll get used to it. Yeah, okay. that's good. I have one, two, three, four, f- well, no, one, two, three, four, five questions that are very weird, and mm-hmm. I want you to answer them, okay? Okay. So rapid First fire? One, no, not rapid fire. Okay. It's it's a little we're in a, don't take too much time, but take a little bit of time to think about yeah, it. Think All about my it. fans, yeah. yeah comment some questions. You know, First one. You. Okay. Would you rather Oh god, it's already hard. Be blind instantly okay. for the rest of your life or a snail that's magical and is obsessed with you is let loose. And it's chasing after you, and it's well aware of where you are in the world, so it will always mm. be in the point in the direction of where safe. you are and chase yes. after you and only you. Okay, so hold slow, on, hold on. Okay. And if it touches you, yes. you die instantly with the worst death. Oh, wait, God. wait, worst death possible, okay? Ugh. So it's either be blind immediately for the rest of your life or Fuck. outrun a snail for the rest of your life. And if it touches you, you die with the worst death ever. What Dude. would you rather do? He's gotta leave the. He's gotta leave the continent unless he gets on a ship. Fuck. But the the snail. That is little magical. snail Listen, is never gonna catch me. Oh, it's if I'm magical, focused. Though. Hold on, ready, ready. I gotta, I gotta move. Score. It's 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 not extra fast. It's a regular snail. Regular it just snail. it's just it it knows where you are all yeah. the time. You it will never always, feel safe. It will yeah. always be honed in on it's you to find you. Turning in. Can exactly. you kill it? Inching in. Inching in. No, because you touch it at all, you die. Well, I'm a big gamer. What if you shot? You know what I mean? I'm a big gamer. Shot it. Okay. So like being a big being a big gamer like that. Like, I'm going to need to sit down in my computer chair, mm-hmm. which is my girlfriend already doesn't understand this. It's like, Weird. how can someone sit at their chair for six hours? And then you straight? show her. And then you show her, right? Like this. And I'm like, dude, I'm defeating bosses. <laughs> <laughs> but, or, uh, yo, I have, I, have fi- I have four teammates that are counting on me. Mm-hmm. But, no, <laughs> you know what? I'm going to realistically choose just like, dude, I'm going to be blind. Forever? You can't play any video I mean, games, dude. dude. Um, in sensory deprivation makes drugs better, sex better, <laughs> all these things. I think I can leverage it. I think I can. I think I think I can leverage it. Being blind yeah. forever. What if you? I don't want this <laughs> deathly snail following me. I don't know what <laughs> is snail. in the afterlife. True. So I I don't know what I'm signing up uh, for in terms of gonna, like okay yeah I'm willing to die I'll just play I'll death. play RuneScape until the snake this snail kills me, <laughs> but it's like no that doesn't seem very exciting. No. So I want to like yeah I want to still have sex with my girlfriend I want to still have you know all these things but <laughs> not worry about like that I snail a, act like I have a blindfold on me and not have to worry about shit okay okay next uh, question that's, that's a good answer so you'd be blind forever but to any blind people like you know what I mean I don't, I don't mean fuck dude I'm sorry there's <laughs> okay. some things that are truly beautiful in the world you should see him I love <laughs> it oh god that's dude. fucked up <laughs> Oh my god, you should see him sometimes. <laughs> yeah, hey, you should smell them like they smell them, though. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, god right? damn, I imagine just smelling oh, that. Oh, dude, can you imagine how good the food tastes? Oh, oh blind god. food. You'd, be, you'd definitely be a chef if you're Imagine blind. how good the mushrooms feel. God <laughs> damn. You'd be. <laughs> dude, okay, chucking yourself all over. Dude, if a blind person that's been blind forever has no concept of color or what, like, sight, like blind from birth, if they took mushrooms, what do you think would go on in their head? I mean, fuck. Good Probably, again, huh? That'd be that's crazy. trip. They would They'd be again. like, Marco's charming as fuck, but I don't know he has handsome colored eyes, so I I, I don't think he's that attractive. <laughs> uh, might happen. Okay. But they would never know how handsome and <laughs> Shut up. how, how your, Next question. your eyes just attract the opposite sex. They would never know. <laughs> Thanks, dude. You should tell <laughs> the opposite know. sex to be attracted to me. Okay, ready? Would you rather be in prison for a year oh or in prison with a Rubik's Cube, and once you solve that Rubik's Cube, you're free? Considering that in seventh grade, I already... Looked up the YouTube video of solving that <laughs> Rubik's cube. <laughs> I think eventually I'll access the files that <laughs> are in there <laughs> somewhere. Because I'm in prison, I can't smoke weed. No, you can't. You so have I'm like decently though. intelligent if I I'm not stoned all the time, mm-hmm. which is my normal life. <laughs> so I would probably remember eventually about what those YouTube videos were telling me. Yeah, just take and a we were, screwdriver. I mean, we and pop were solving those Rubik's off. cubes when we were in Mills, like Millswood. Like th- those things were. You know what I mean? They were past yeah. their time of actually, you know what I mean? Like in in the '90s, they were like unsolvable. But then yeah. <laughs> people started putting out algorithms on YouTube, and you just do it easy. True. And then Very you could true. take the colors off. You know, you, you could even peel them off well, and you put them on. No, you gotta, I would, I would no, take the pieces off. You gotta solve it. Off, you gotta and then solve I, would, it. I would lube it all up That's so it go faster. Yeah. Oh, my friend no Jason cheating. did that. He yeah. uh, sanded them down and made them all. Yeah. Shout out Jason. It's his birthday today. Only the real nerd. Forty-two. Baby. Unreal. Okay, next question. So Still you, a nerd, but so, I love you. So you would take a Rubik's cube. Yes. Okay. 
Next question. Rubik's Cube over a year in jail. I couldn't last a year in jail. They want to fuck me in my butt. <laughs> okay. Sorry. You can't last 20 minutes. That was talk about. Speaking of getting <laughs> fucked up, which fictional character would you love to fuck up in a fight? Mmm. God damn, dude. I know, fictional. And, I know Andrew, who Andrew would want to fight. <sighs> Tom Holland. It's always in the first Spider-Man, time. bro. <laughs> That's fucked up. He doesn't like him. I like Tom Holland. He doesn't like Tom Holland. <laughs> no. Like I didn't like Andrew uh, Garfield. Not your Andrew. Garfield. Andrew Garfield. Garfield. <laughs> I like him better. <laughs> your Andrew. Yeah. He's a nerd. Yeah, no, but <laughs> Andrew but other guys like You ain't no nerd. Five. You look a studly firefighter. He's a nerd, bro. He ain't Spider Man. Nerd, bro. <laughs> Spider-Man. But Spider Man's supposed to be a nerd to start with. And then he, he like uh t- like Toby McGuire. I mean, God, we believe Toby, we believe anything. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. But I mean, Where's yeah. Um Say that question again. Sorry, I got really distracted. What fictional character would you love to fuck up in a fight? Like fictional just character fuck, of any fuck this any fictional fiction. character. Uh, Jerry from Rick and Morty. I'd fuck Jerry up real good. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. He's like the most hated, hateable person ever. God, it's too obvious. It's like a layup, though. Huh? Yeah, it is. <laughs> um, I, I do hate other people that shouldn't be hated, but no, just Jerry for now. Okay, yeah, just no, fuck up. Everybody Jerry. hates Jerry. Yeah, I just fuck up Jerry. Okay, okay. Would everybody you would rather... like you for that. Have everyone constantly be naked or constantly be clothed, and you are included in that. Oh, okay. Okay. Fuck. Guys would start acting a lot differently around me, huh? <laughs> well, then I would act different, too. You, you see my dick right here. I can't pretend too much. God damn. But girls would but be naked. Think about it. If you're constantly, uh, if everyone's constantly clothed, imagine sex. You're clothed. Yeah, it's you're clothed. special. <laughs> You don't get to see, like, this is private boobies that no one else gets to see. That's the best part. Fuck. The boobies. But you're not getting that either way, because you're getting public boobies well, that everybody gets to see. Well, I got a girlfriend. Everyone gets to see my True. lady's my lady's booty. Well, everyone yeah. gets to your private, your, your well, lady's private boobies. Well, I already get to see that all the time, and now everyone else gets to see it. I'm going to vote no. I don't I don't want everyone, so everyone else to clothed. see that. Everyone yeah, clothed. everyone constantly. clothed. Constantly. Because I still get to see my lady all naked with that booty. But it, it's constant. <laughs> Even in the shower, you're clothed. Bathing your clothes, oh, swimming God. your clothes. In the summer, your clothes. I'm down. It feel good to wash myself <laughs> under that shirt. Get all soapy in the you know, in the shower. Hey, um, does this podcast do piss breaks? Yeah, yeah we're almost done. One last question. Uh, we're good. One last question. One of these okay. cups. Hit me. All right. Would you rather be completely hairless or overly hairy everywhere? Considering I'm already <laughs> overly hairy, <laughs> no, no, I, no. I, I'm, I'm literally talking. like, dude, your face, the bush is. Okay. Everywhere is hairy as fuck. I want to be hairy everywhere. Be everywhere? Yes, because I just want a beard, man. I don't get to have a beard. What? Guys get... That's like the makeup of men. You know what I mean? Guys... Uh, it's true. Guys get a beard, they just naturally look way more handsome. Dude, yeah. Or right. mustache, whatever it is. I know Brayden's over there judge me. <laughs> I wasn't. But if it's a beard or a mustache, <laughs> even if it's five o'clock shadow and it's actually filled in and it mm. looks good... Then yeah no a beard is cheating dude girls love that shit that's true so I would okay. I would choose to have a uh, be hairy everywhere because I'm already hairy everywhere room. else yeah. I don't want to give the viewers too much hairy bushy <laughs> disgusting curly sweaty <laughs> <laughs> if that's on my face then it's attractive okay. all of a sudden okay. so it's like okay I'll take that ah oh, respect. All right, all right, we'll finish, guys. You gotta go pee, and I'm fine with that. Yeah, Great. we'll run no, it back. Right. Let's, no, let's start we're, it up again once I... I'm gonna literally no. just pee in a bush real quick. And we're we'll, done right now. This is it. Last I thoughts. didn't get to talk about Lion King. He's never seen Lion King. <laughs> no, I like no, huh? For another day. This guy's never seen Lion King. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got problems. Next time. Next, Next time. episode. Brayden, episode last, ep- last words, final thoughts, closing statements. Trent, thanks for coming on. Trent. Trent. Calls me Trent. <laughs> Trent. Trent. I didn't even know that was your name until yesterday. You feel or feel no, I'm just kidding. Tito. It was fun. Yeah, damn yeah. fun. I don't, think, I don't think we've had good laughs like this since your mom and Aaron were on. Yeah, that was a while. Yeah, Dude, oh, yeah. There's a good laugh. Brayden. Oh, yeah. That was a good time. Uh, Brayden. Also, Andrew. Or Andrew, sorry. <laughs> Andrew. Brayden. It's Andrew. Time, Marky. Lovely gentleman. You're pretty. And I, w- I enjoyed being on here. <laughs> I think he's kind of a mix of like uh, Theo Vaughn and uh, who's the guy in uh, High School Musical? The fucking one that everybody loves. Troy, uh, Shut uh, uh, your uh, uh, God Zach damn Efron. Zach, Zach Efron. Efron yeah. Dude. You're the mix, dude. Uh, you're the mix. Tell Theo Vaughn I'm, I'm coming if for him. If somebody put them in the I'm blender. I'm the more handsome version <laughs> of Theo Vaughn. Hey. No, hey, um, to all the uh, listeners, these guys are fucking great, dude. Hey, thank you. Tune in. 
I'm gonna be back. You know, this isn't my only episode. Just, dude, we'll these guys more. are fucking cool as shit. That was a good time. I would say we're I, gonna talk about Harry Potter. We're gonna talk about Lion King. <laughs> <laughs> None of these guys know the conceptual nature of either of those. <laughs> uh, this guy's never seen Lion King, so we'll just leave off there. I've never seen Harry damn. Potter either. I've seen all the Harry Potter. Uh, I've seen Fox and the Hound. Okay. That doesn't mean you understood that. <laughs> have you seen, I, Fox have you seen the Hobbit movie. and the Lord that's of true. the Rings extended edition? Fuck the Lord of the Rings. That shit. No, we're nerding out. Seven hours. We're nerding out. All right, I know they're so freaking long dude i would say it's last so hard to sit know, through them fuck fuckers that. i don't have a good attention I fast forward yeah. to the war part skip all the walking yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, let's get to the battle the when they come together like that come yes. together Ooh. right now oh over tito uh over i would say um dude yeah fucking we'll chug that we'll drink another one of these thank you for being on i had a good ass time i knew i was gonna laugh i didn't know i was gonna laugh this much and respect to you for being a fucking uh a, a, a fucking full-blown professional chef god damn i mean i don't know how to go full-blown but i do appreciate you guys so much for mm-hmm. respecting what i have to give That's not too much but and keep cooking appreciate enough. you guys for having keep, me on the show keep cooking good looking <laughs> I'm gonna cook something next time I'm gonna bring it I'm gonna show them oh. I'm gonna show the people how well, about that and, and then we can eat while you nerd out oh there you go and I'll just talk and you guys just eat <laughs> we'll and I'll just take it over respect we're done just ramble wow. out okay now we're gonna all get in with your mustache and we gotta take a fucking picture for a thumbnail for real. Yeah, 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 I'll scoot up close yeah yeah put it on, put it on. Right. is this a gladiator helmet <laughs> my head's too big your phone off. That's real. Oh. Are you not entertained? Uh, yeah. This thing is. This thing hurts my nose. All right. One, two, three. Mm. Perfect. Beautiful. Beautiful.